Sunan in Nasai the Book of Marriage Sunan in Nasai. The Book of Marriage narrated Ada. It was narrated that Ada said, We attended the funeral of Maimuna, the wife of the Prophet, with Ibn Abbas in Sarif. Ibn Abbas said, This is Maimuna. When you lift up her beer, do not rock it nor shake it. The Messenger of Allah had nine wives and he used to give a share of his time to eight of them and not to one. Sunan and Nasi 3196 Reference 26 Hadith 1 Sunan and Nasi. The Book of Marriage narrated Ibn Abbas. It was narrated that Ibn Abbas said, When the Messenger of Allah died he had nine wives. He used to be intimate with all of them except one who had given her day and night to Aisha. Sunan and Nasi 3197 Reference 26 Hadith 2 Sunan and Nasi. The Book of Marriage narrated Anas. Anas narrated that the Prophet used to go around to his wives in a single night, and at that time he had nine wives. Sunan and Nasi 3198 Reference 26 Hadith 3 Sunan in Nasai. The Book of Marriage narrated Aisha. It was narrated that Aisha said, I used to feel jealous of those, women, who offered themselves, in marriage, to the Prophet and I said, Would a free woman offer herself? Then Allah, the Mighty and Sublime, revealed, You can postpone whom you will love them, and you may receive whom you will. I said, By Allah, I see that your Lord is quick to respond to your wishes. Sunan and Nasi 3199 Reference 26 Hadith 4 Sunan and Nasi. The Book of Marriage narrated Saul bin Sa'd. It was narrated that Saul bin Sa'd said, I was among the people when a woman said, I offer myself, in marriage, to you, O Messenger of Allah, see what you think of me. A man stood up and said, Marry me to her. He said, Go and find, something, even if it is an iron ring. So he went, but he could not find anything, not even an iron ring. So the Messenger of Allah said, Do you have, memorized, any surahs of the Quran? He said, Yes. So he married him to her on the basis of what he knew of surahs of the Quran. Sunan and Nasi 3200 Reference 26 Hadith 5 Sunan and Nasi. The Book of Marriage narrated Aisha. It was narrated from Aisha, the wife of the Prophet, that the Messenger of Allah came to her when Allah commanded him to give his wives the choice. Aisha said, The Messenger of Allah started with me and said, I am going to tell you something but you do not have to rush until you consult your parents. She said, He knew that my parents would not tell me to leave him. Then the Messenger of Allah said, O Prophet, say to your wives, If you desire the life of this world, and its glitter, then come. I will make a provision for you and set you free in a handsome manner. I said, Do I need to consult my parents about this? I choose Allah and his Messenger and the abode of the hereafter. Sunan and Nasi 3201 Reference 26 Hadith 6 Sunan and Nasi. The Book of Marriage narrated Aisha. It was narrated that Aisha, may Allah be pleased with her, said, The Messenger of Allah gave his wives the choice of staying with him. Was it divorce? Sunan and Nasi 3202 Reference 26 Hadith 7 Sunan and Nasi. The Book of Marriage narrated Aisha. It was narrated that Aisha said, The Messenger of Allah gave us the choice, and we chose him, so there was no divorce. Sunan and Nasi 3203 Reference 26 Hadith 8 Sunan and Nasi. The Book of Marriage narrated Ada. It was narrated that Ada said. Aisha said. The Messenger of Allah did not die until women had been made lawful to him. 
Sunan and Nasi 3204 reference 26 hadith 9. Sunan and Nasi. The Book of Marriage narrated Aisha. It was narrated that Aisha said, The Messenger of Allah did not die until Allah permitted him to marry whatever women he wanted. Sunan and Nasi 3205 reference 26 hadith 10. Sunan and Nasi. The Book of Marriage narrated Alkamah. It was narrated that Alkamah said, I was with Ibn Masud while he was with Uthman, may Allah be pleased with him, and Uthman said, The Messenger of Allah came out to some fitya. Young men, Abu Abdurrahman said, I did not understand the word fitya as I would want, and said, Whoever among you can afford it, let him get married for it is more effective in lowering the gaze and guarding chastity, and whoever cannot, then fasting will be a restraint, waya, for him. Sunan and Nasi 3206 Reference 26 Hadith 11 Sunan and Nasi. The Book of Marriage narrated Alkamah. It was narrated from Alkamah, that Uthman said to Ibn Masud, Shall I arrange for you to marry a young girl? Abdullah called Alkamah and he told the people that the Prophet said, Whoever among you can afford it, let him get married, for it is more effective in lowering the gaze and guarding chastity. And whoever cannot afford it, then let him fast, for it will be a restraint for him. Sunan and Nasi 3207 Reference 26 Hadith 12 Sunan and Nasi. The Book of Marriage narrated Alkamah. It was narrated from Alkamah and Al Aswad that Abdullah said, The Messenger of Allah said to us, Whoever among you can afford it, let him get married, and whoever cannot then he should fast, for it will be a restraint, waya, for him. Abu Abdur Rahman said, The mention of Al Aswad in this hadith is not preserved. Sunan and Nasi 3208 Reference 26 Hadith 13 Sunan and Nasi. The Book of Marriage narrated Abdullah. It was narrated that Abdullah said, The Messenger of Allah said to us, O young men, whoever among you can afford it, let him get married, for it is more effective in lowering the gaze and guarding chastity, and whoever cannot then he should fast, for it will be a restraint, waya, for him. Sunan and Nasi 3209 Reference 26 Hadith 14 Sunan and Nasi. The Book of Marriage narrated Abdullah. It was narrated that Abdullah said, The Messenger of Allah said to us, O young men, whoever among you can afford it, let him get married, and he quoted the same hadith. Sunan and Nasi 3210 Reference 26 Hadith 15 Sunan and Nasi. The Book of Marriage narrated Alkamah. It was narrated that Alkamah said, I was walking with Abdullah in Mina and he was met by Uthman who stood with him and spoke with him. He said, O Abu Abdur Rahman, shall I not marry you to a young girl? Perhaps she will remind you of when you were younger? Abdullah said, As you say that, it reminds me that. The Messenger of Allah said to us, O young men, whoever among you can afford it, let him get married. Sunan and Nasi 3211 Reference 26 Hadith 16 Sunan and Nasi. The Book of Marriage narrated Sa'd bin Abi Waqqas. It was narrated that Sa'd bin Abi Waqqas said, The Messenger of Allah forbade Uthman to be celibate. If he had given him permission we would have castrated ourselves. Sunan and Nasi 3212 Reference 26 Hadith 17 Sunan and Nasi. The Book of Marriage narrated Aisha. It was narrated from Aisha that the Messenger of Allah forbade celibacy. Sunan and Nasi 3213 Reference 26 Hadith 18 Sunan and Nasi. The Book of Marriage narrated Samura bin Jundab. 
it was narrated from Samura bin Jundab that the Prophet forbade celibacy. Abu Abdur Rahman said, Qatada is more reliable and better preserves narrations than Ashaf but the Hadith of Ashaf, here, appears to be the correct one. Allah, Most High, knows best. Sunan and Nasi 3214 Reference 26 Hadith 19 Sunan in Nasai. The Book of Marriage narrated Abu Salama. It was narrated from Abu Salama that Abu Huraira said, I said, O Messenger of Allah, I am a young man and I fear hardship for myself, but I cannot afford to marry, should I castrate myself? The Prophet turned away from him until he said it three times. Then the Prophet said, O Abu Huraira, the pen is dried concerning what you are going to face, so, it is up to you whether, you castrate yourself or not. Abu Abdur Rahman, and Nasai, said, Al-Azai did not hear this narration from Az-Zuri, and this hadith is Sahih. Yunus reported it from Az-Zuri. Sunan and Nasi 3215 Reference 26 Hadith 20 Sunan and Nasai the Book of Marriage narrated Sa'd bin Hisham. It was narrated from Sa'd bin Hisham that he came to the mother of the believers, Aisha. He said, I want to ask you about celibacy, what do you think about it? She said, Do not do that. Have you not heard that Allah, the Mighty and Sublime, says, And indeed we sent messengers before you, and made for them wives and offspring? So do not be celibate. Sunan and Nasi 3216 Reference 26 Hadith 21 Sunan and Nasi. The Book of Marriage narrated Annas. It was narrated from Annas that there was a group of the companions of the Prophet, one of whom said, I will not marry women. Another said, I will not eat meat. Another said, I will not sleep on a bed. Another said, I will fast and not break my fast. News of that reached the Messenger of Allah and he praised Allah then said, What is the matter with people who say such and such? But I pray and I sleep, I fast and I break my fast, and I marry women. Whoever turns away from my sunnah is not of me. Sunan and Nasi 3217 Reference 26 Hadith 22 Sunan and Nasai. The Book of Marriage narrated Abu Huraira. It was narrated from Abu Huraira that the Messenger of Allah said, There are three who are promised the help of Allah. The Mukatab who wants to buy his freedom, the one who gets married seeking to keep himself chaste, and the Mujahid who fights in the cause of Allah. Asterisk Mukatab. The slave who has made a contract of manumission. Sunan and Nasi 3218 Reference 26 Hadith 23 Sunan and Nasi. The Book of Marriage narrated Habir. It was narrated that Habir said, I got married then I came to the Prophet and he said, Have you got married, O Habir? I said, Yes, he said, To a virgin or to a previously married woman? I said, to a previously married woman. He said, Why not a virgin, so you could play with her and she could play with you? Sunan and Nasi 3219 Reference 26 Hadith 24 Sunan and Nasi. The Book of Marriage narrated Habir. It was narrated that Habir said, The Messenger of Allah met me and said, O oh Habir, have you got married to a woman since I last saw you? I said, Yes, O Messenger of Allah. He said, To a virgin or to a previously married woman? I said, To a previously married woman. He said, Why not a virgin, so she could play with you? Sunan and Nasi 3220 Reference 26 Hadith 25 Sunan and Nasi. The Book of Marriage narrated Abdullah bin Barida. It was narrated from Abdullah bin Buraida that his father said, Abu Bakr and Umar, may Allah be pleased with them, 
proposed marriage to Fatima but the messenger of Allah said, she is young. Then Ali proposed marriage to her and he married her to him. Sunan and Nasi 3221 Reference 26 Hadith 26 Sunan and Nasi The Book of Marriage narrated Ubaidullah bin Abdullah bin Yudba. It was narrated from Ubaidullah bin Abdullah bin Yudba that during the reign of Marwan, Abdullah bin Amr bin Uthman, who was a young man, issued a final divorce to the daughter of Sa'id bin Zaid, whose mother was Bint Qais. Her maternal aunt, Fatima bint Qais, sent word to her telling her to move from the house of Abdullah bin Amr. Marwan heard of that and he sent word to the daughter of Sa'id, telling her to go back to her home, and asking her why she had moved from her home before her idda was over. She sent word to him telling him that her maternal aunt had told her to do that. Fatima bint Qais said that she had been married to Abu Amr bin Havs, and when the messenger of Allah appointed Ali bin Abi Talib as governor of Yemen, he went out with him and sent word to her that she was divorced with the third talaq. He told Al-Harith bin Hisham and Aish bin Abi Raya to spend on her. She sent word to Al-Harith and Aish asking them what her Sunan and Nasi 3222 reference 26 hadith 27. Sunan and Nasi the Book of Marriage husband had told them to spend on her, and they said, By Allah, she has no right to any maintenance from us, unless she is pregnant, and she cannot come into our home without our permission. She said that she came to the Messenger of Allah and told him about that, and he stated that they were correct. Fatima said, Where should I move to, O Messenger of Allah? He said, Move to the home of Ibn Umm Maktam the blind man whom Allah, the mighty and sublime, named in his book. Fatima said, So I observed my idda there. He was a man who has lost his sight, so I used to take off my garments in his house, until the messenger of Allah married me to Usama bin Zaid. Marwan criticized her for that and said, I have never heard this hadith from anyone before you. I will continue to follow the ruling that the people have been following. Sunan and Nasi 3222 Reference 26 Hadith 27 Sunan and Nasi. The Book of Marriage narrated Aisha. It was narrated from Aisha that Abu Hudhaifa bin Yudba bin Rabia bin Abd Shams, who was one of those who had been present at Badr with the Messenger of Allah, adopted Salim and married him to his brother's daughter. Hind bint al Walid bin Yudba bin Rabia bin Abd Shams, and he was a freed slave of an Ansari woman, as the Messenger of Allah had adopted Zayd. During the Jahiliya, if a man adopted someone, the people would call him his son, and he would inherit from his legacy, until Allah, the Mighty and Sublime, revealed about that. Call them by the names of their fathers, that is more just with Allah. But if you know not their fathers, names, call them, your brothers in faith and mawalakam, your freed slaves. Then if a person's father's name was not known, he would be their freed slave and brother in faith. Sunan and Nasi 3223 Reference 26 Hadith 28 Sunan and Nasi. The Book of Marriage narrated Aisha. It was narrated from Aisha the wife of the Prophet, and Umm Salama the wife of the Prophet that Abu Hudhaifa bin Yudba bin Rabia bin Abd Shams, who was one of those who had been present at Badr with the Messenger of Allah, adopted Salim, who was the freed slave of an Ansari woman, as the Messenger of Allah had adopted Zayd bin Haritha. Abu Hudhaifa bin Yudba married Salim to his brother's daughter Hind bint al Walid bin Yudba bin Rabia. Hind bint al Walid bin Yudba was one of the first Muhajir women, and at that time she was one of the best single women of the Quraysh. When Allah, the Mighty and Sublime, revealed the following concerning Zayd bin Haritha call them by the names of their fathers, that is more just with Allah. But if you know not their fathers, names, call them your brothers in faith and mawalakam, your freed slaves. Each of them went back to being called after his father, 
and if a person's father was unknown, he was named after his former Sunan and Nasi 3224 reference 26 Hadith 29. Sunan and Nasi, the Book of Marriage Masters. Sunan and Nasi 3224 reference 26 Hadith 29. Sunan and Nasi, the Book of Marriage narrated Ibn Baraida. It was narrated from Ibn Baraida that his father said, The Messenger of Allah said, The nobility of the people of this world, that which they, always, go to, is wealth. Sunan and Nasi 3225 Reference 26 Hadith 30 Sunan and Nasi, the Book of Marriage narrated Habir. It was narrated from Habir that he married a woman at the time of the Messenger of Allah, and the Prophet met him and said, Have you got married, O Habir? He said, Yes, he said, A virgin or a previously married woman? I said, A previously married woman? He said, Why not a virgin who would play with you? I said, O Messenger of Allah, I have sisters, and I did not want her to come between them and I he said, that's better then. A woman may be married for her religious commitment, her wealth or her beauty. You should choose the one who is religiously committed. May your hands be rubbed with dust. May you prosper. Sunan and Nasi 3226 Reference 26 Hadith 31 Sunan and Nasi. The Book of Marriage narrated Makal bin Yasar. It was narrated that Makal bin Yasar said, A man came to the Messenger of Allah and said, I have found a woman who is from a good family and of good status, but she does not bear children, should I marry her? He told him not to. Then he came to him a second time and he told him not to marry her. Then he came to him a third time and he told him not to marry her. Then he said, Marry the one who is fertile and loving for I will boast of your great numbers. Sunan and Nasi 3227 Reference 26 Hadith 32 Sunan and Nasi. The Book of Marriage narrated Amr bin Shu'ayb. It was narrated from Amr bin Shu'ayb, from his father, from his grandfather, that Marthad bin Abi Marthad al-Ghanawi, a strong man who used to take the prisoners from Makkah to al Madinah, said, I arranged with a man to bring him, from Makkah to al Madinah. There was a prostitute in Makkah who was called Anak, and she was his friend. She came out and saw my shadow on the wall, and said, Who is this? Marthod? Welcome, O oh Marthod, come tonight and stay at our place. I said, O oh Anak, the Messenger of Allah has forbidden adultery. She said, O oh people of the tents, this porcupine is the one who is taking your prisoners from Makkah to al Madinah. I headed toward the mountain of al Kandama, and eight men came after me. They came and stood over my head, and they urinated, and their urine reached me, but Allah caused them not to see me. Then I went to my companion, the prisoner, and brought him to al Iraq, where I undid his fetters. Then I came to the Messenger of Allah Sunan and Nasi 3228 Reference 26 Hadith 33. Sunan and Nasi, the Book of Marriage and said, O Messenger of Allah, shall I marry Anak? He remained silent and did not answer me. Then the following was revealed. And the adulterous fornicator, none marries her except an adulterer fornicator or an idolater. He called me and recited them to me and said, Do not marry her. Sunan and Nasi 3228 Reference 26 Hadith 33 Sunan and Nasi. The Book of Marriage narrated Ibn Abbas. It was narrated from Ibn Abbas that a man came to the Messenger of Allah and said, I have a wife who is one of the most beloved of the people to me, but she does not object if anyone touches her. He said, Divorce her. He said, I cannot do without her. He said, Then stay with her as much as you need to. 
Sunan and Nasi 3229 Reference 26 Hadith 34 Sunan and Nasi. The Book of Marriage narrated Abu Huraira. It was narrated from Abu Huraira that the Prophet said, Women are married for four things. Their wealth, their nobility, their beauty and their religious commitment. Choose the one who is religiously committed, may your hands be rubbed with dust. Sunan and Nasi 3230 Reference 26 Hadith 35 Sunan and Nasi. The Book of Marriage narrated Abu Huraira. It was narrated that Abu Huraira said, It was said to the Messenger of Allah, Which woman is best? He said, The one who makes him happy when he looks at her, obeys him when he commands her and she does not go against his wishes with regard to herself nor her wealth. Sunan and Nasi 3231 Reference 26 Hadith 36 Sunan and Nasi. The Book of Marriage narrated Abdullah bin Amr bin al as. It was narrated from Abdullah bin Amr bin al as that the Messenger of Allah said, This world is all temporary conveniences and the best temporary convenience of this world is a righteous woman. Sunan and Nasi 3232 Reference 26 Hadith 37 Sunan and Nasi. The Book of Marriage narrated Annas. It was narrated from Annas that they said, O Messenger of Allah, why don't you marry a woman from the Ansar? He said, They are very jealous. Sunan and Nasi 3233 Reference 26 Hadith 38 Sunan and Nasi. The Book of Marriage narrated Abu Huraira. It was narrated that Abu Huraira said, A man proposed to a woman from among the Ansar and the Messenger of Allah said to him, Have you seen her? He said, Number. So he told him to look at her. Sunan and Nasi 3234 Reference 26 Hadith 39 Sunan and Nasi. The Book of Marriage narrated Al-Mugira bin Shuba. It was narrated that Al-Mugira bin Shuba said, I proposed marriage to a woman during the time of the Messenger of Allah, and the Prophet said, Have you seen her? I said, Number. He said, Look at her for that is more likely to create love between you. Sunan and Nasi 3235 Reference 26 Hadith 40 Sunan and Nasi. The Book of Marriage narrated Urwa. It was narrated from Urwa, that Aisha said, The Messenger of Allah married me in Shawal and my marriage was consummated in Shawal. Aisha liked for her women's marriages to be consummated in Shawal, and which of his wives was more beloved to him than me. Sunan and Nasi 3236 Reference 26 Hadith 41 Sunan and Nasi. The Book of Marriage narrated Emir bin Shurabil Ash-Shabi. Emir bin Shurabil Ash-Shabi narrated that he heard Fatima bint Qais, who was one of the first Muhajir women, say, Abdur Rahman bin Awf proposed marriage to me, along with others of the companions of Muhammad peace be upon him. And the Messenger of Allah proposed that I marry his freed slave, Usama bin Zayd. I was told that the Messenger of Allah had said, Whoever loves me, let him love Usama. When the Messenger of Allah spoke to me I said, My affairs are in your hands. Marry me to whomever you wish. He said, Go to Um Sharik. Um Sharik was a rich and sorry woman who used to spend a great deal in the cause of Allah, and she always had a lot of guests. I said, I will do that. He said, Do not do that, for Um Sharik has a lot of guests, and I would not like your kimar to fall off, or your shins to become uncovered, and the people to see something of you that you do not want them to see. Rather go to your cousin son of your paternal uncle, Abdullah Sunan Anasi 3237 Reference 26 Hadith 42 Sunan and Nasi. The Book of Marriage bin Amr bin Um Maktum. 
who is a man of Banu fear. So I went to him. Sunan and Nasi 3237 Reference 26 Hadith 42 Sunan in Nasi. The Book of Marriage narrated Ibn Umar. It was narrated from Ibn Umar that the Prophet said, None of you should propose marriage to a woman when someone else has already proposed to her. Sunan in Nasi 3238 Reference 26 Hadith 43 Sunan in Nasi. The Book of Marriage narrated Abu Huraira. It was narrated that Abu Huraira said, The Messenger of Allah said, Do not artificially inflate prices. A resident should not sell for a Bedouin. A man should not offer more for something that has already been bought by his brother. No one should propose marriage to a woman when someone else has already proposed to her. And no woman should try to bring about the divorce of her sister, in order to deprive her of the blessings that she has. Sunan and Nasi 3239 Reference 26 Hadith 44 Sunan and Nasi. The Book of Marriage narrated Abu Huraira. It was narrated from Abu Huraira that the Prophet said, None of you should propose marriage to a woman when someone else has already proposed to her. Sunan and Nasi 3240 Reference 26 Hadith 45 Sunan in Nasi. The Book of Marriage it was narrated from Abu Huraira that the Messenger of Allah said, None of you should propose marriage to a woman when someone else has already proposed to her, unless he marries, and he gives up the idea, or gives him permission. Sunan in Nasi 3241 Reference 26 Hadith 46 Sunan in Nasi. The Book of Marriage it was narrated from Abu Huraira that the Prophet said, None of you should propose marriage to a woman when someone else has already proposed to her. Sunan and Nasi 3242 Reference 26 Hadith 47 Sunan and Nasi. The Book of Marriage Abdullah bin Amr used to say, The Messenger of Allah forbade offering more for something that has already been bought by his brother or for a man to propose marriage to a woman when someone else has already proposed to her, unless the previous suitor gave up the idea or gave him permission. Sunan and Nasi 3243 Reference 26 Hadith 48 Sunan and Nasi. The Book of Marriage it was narrated from Muhammad peace be upon him bin Abdur Rahman bin Thoban that they asked Fatima bint Qais about her story and she said, my husband divorced me three times, and he used to provide me with food that was not good. She said, By Allah, if I were entitled to maintenance and accommodation I would demand them and I would not accept this. The deputy said, You are not entitled to accommodation or maintenance. She said, I came to the Prophet and told him about that, and he said, You are not entitled to accommodation nor maintenance. Observe your idda in the house of so and so. She said. His companions used to go to her. Then he said. Observe your idda in the house of Ibn Umm Maktum, who is blind, and when your idda is over, let me know. She said. When my idda was over, I let him know. The Messenger of Allah said. Who has proposed marriage to you? I said. Muawiyah and another man from the Quraysh. He said, As for Muawiyah, he is a boy among the Quraysh and does not have anything. Sunan and Nasi 3244 Reference 26 Hadith 49 Sunan and Nasi. The Book of Marriage and as for the other he is a bad man with no goodness in him. Rather you should marry Usama bin Zaid. She said, I did not like the idea. But he said that to her three times so she married him. Sunan and Nasi 3244 Reference 26 Hadith 49 Sunan and Nasi. The Book of Marriage It was narrated from Fatima bint Qais that Abu Amr bin Havs issued a final divorce to her while he was absent. His deputy sent some barley to her but she did not like it. He said, 
By Allah, you have no rights over us. She went to the messenger of Allah and told him about that, and he said, You have no right to maintenance. He told her to observe her idda in the house of Umm Sharik, then he said, She is a woman whose house is frequented by my companions. Observe your idda in the house of Ibn Umm Maktum, for he is a blind man and you can take off your garment. And when your idda is over, let me know. She said, when my idda was over I told him that Muawiyah bin Abi Sufyan and Abu Jam had proposed marriage to me. The Messenger of Allah said, As for Abu Jam, his stick never leaves his shoulder, and as for Muawiyah he is a poor man who has no wealth. Rather you should marry Usama bin Zaid. I did not like the idea, then he said, Marry Usama bin Zaid. So I married him and Allah created Sunan and Nasi 3245 reference 26 hadith 50. Sunan and Nasi. The book of marriage a lot of good in him, and others felt jealous of my good fortune. Sunan and Nasi 3245 reference 26 hadith 50. Sunan and Nasi. The Book of Marriage it was narrated that Abu Huraira said, A man of the Ansar came to the Messenger of Allah and said, I have married a woman. He said, Did you look at her? For there is something in the eyes of the Ansar. Sunan and Nasi 3246 Reference 26 Hadith 51 Sunan and Nasi the Book of Marriage it was narrated from Abu Huraira that a man wanted to marry a woman and the Prophet said, Look at her, for there is something in the eyes of the Ansar. Sunan and Nasi 3247 Reference 26 Hadith 52 Sunan and Nasi The Book of Marriage it was narrated that Umar said, Hafsa bint Umar became single when, her husband, Kune meaning bin Hudafa, died. He was one of the companions of the Prophet who had been present at Badr, and he died in al Madina. I met Uthman bin Affan and offered Hafsa in marriage to him. I said, If you wish, I will marry you to Hafsa. He said, I will think about it. A few days passed, then I met him and he said, I do not want to get married at the moment. Umar said, then I met Abu Bakr as Sadiq, may Allah be pleased with him, and said, If you wish, I will marry Hafsa to you. He did not give me any answer, and I felt more upset with him than I had with Uthman, may Allah be pleased with him. Several days passed, then the messenger of Allah proposed marriage to her, and I married her to him. Abu Bakr met me and said, Perhaps you felt upset with me when you offered Hafsa in marriage to me and I did not give you an answer? I said, Yes, he said. Nothing prevented me from giving you an answer Sunan and Nasi 3248 Reference 26 Hadith 53 Sunan and Nasi The Book of Marriage when you made the offer to me except the fact that I had heard the Messenger of Allah speak of her and I did not want to disclose the secret of the Messenger of Allah. If he had left her, then I would have married her. Sunan and Nasi 3248 Reference 26 Hadith 53 Sunan and Nasi The Book of Marriage Thabit al-Bunani said, I was with Anas bin Malik and a daughter of his was with him. He said, a woman came to the Messenger of Allah and offered herself in marriage to him. She said, O Messenger of Allah, do you want to marry me? Sunan and Nasi 3249 Reference 26 Hadith 54 Sunan and Nasi The Book of Marriage It was narrated from Anas that a woman offered herself in marriage to the Prophet. The daughter of Anas laughed and said, how little was her modesty. Anas said, She was better than you. She offered herself in marriage to the Prophet. Sunan and Nasi 3250 Reference 26 Hadith 55 Sunan and Nasi. The Book of Marriage It was narrated that Anas said, 
when the Ida of Zainab was over, the messenger of Allah said to Zayd, Propose marriage to her on my behalf. Zayd went and said, O Zainab, rejoice, for the messenger of Allah has sent me to you to propose marriage on his behalf. She said, I will not do anything until I consult my Lord. She went to her prayer place and Quran was revealed. Then the Messenger of Allah came and entered upon her without any formalities. Sunan and Nasi 3251 Reference 26 Hadith 56 Sunan and Nasi The Book of Marriage Anas bin Malik said, Zainab bint Josh used to boast to the other wives of the Prophet and say, Allah married me to him from above the heavens. And the verse of hijab was revealed concerning her. Sunan and Nasi 3252 Reference 26 Hadith 57 Sunan and Nasi The Book of Marriage It was narrated that Habir bin Abdullah said, the Messenger of Allah used to teach his companions to perform istikara in all matters, just as he used to teach them surahs from the Quran. He said, If any one of you is deliberating about a decision he has to make, then let him pray two rakas of non-obligatory prayer. Then say, Allahumma inni astaharuka by ilmika wa astikdaruka by kudratika wa asaluka min fadlika, fa anaka tikdiru wa la akdir. Wa talamu wa la alam. Wa anta alam al guyub. Allahumma in kunta talamu ana had hal amra kairan li fi dini wa mashi wa akibati amri factorhu li wa yasirhu li thumma barik li fihi. Allahumma. Wa in kunta talamu anahu sharan li fi dini wa mashi wa akibati amri fasrifhu ani wasrifni and who walk there li al kair haithu kana. Thama radini bihi. O Allah, I seek your guidance, in making a choice, by virtue of your knowledge, and I seek ability by virtue of your power, and I ask you of your great bounty. You have power, I have none. And you know, Sunan and Nasi 3253 Reference 26 Hadith 58 Sunan and Nasi, the book of marriage I know not. You are the knower of hidden things. O oh Allah, if in your knowledge, this matter, then it should be mentioned by name, is good for me in my religion, my livelihood and my affairs, or both in this world and in the hereafter, then ordain it for me, make it easy for me, and bless it for me. And if in your knowledge it is bad for me and for my religion, my livelihood and my affairs, or for me both in this world and the next, then turn it away from me and turn me away from it, and ordain for me the good wherever it may be and make me pleased with it. Sunan and Nasi 3253 Reference 26 Hadith 58 Sunan and Nasi The Book of Marriage It was narrated from Umm Salama, that when her idda had ended, Abu Bakr sent word to her proposing marriage to her, but she did not marry him. Then the Messenger of Allah sent Umar bin al-Khattab with a proposal of marriage. She said, Tell the Messenger of Allah that I am a jealous woman and that I have sons, and none of my guardians are present. He went to the Messenger of Allah and told him that. He said, Go back to her and tell her. As for your saying that you are a jealous woman, I will pray to Allah for you to take away your jealousy. As for your saying that you have sons, your sons will be taken care of. And as for your saying that none of your guardians are present, none of your guardians, present or absent, would object to that. She said to her son, O Umar, get up and perform the marriage to the Messenger of Allah, so he performed the marriage. Sunan and Nasi 3254 Reference 26 Hadith 59 Sunan and Nasi the Book of Marriage It was narrated from Aisha that the Messenger of Allah married her when she was six years old, and consummated the marriage with her when she was nine. Sunan and Nasi 3255 Reference 26 Hadith 60 Sunan and Nasi The Book of Marriage It was narrated that Aisha said, 
The Messenger of Allah married me when I was seven years old, and he consummated the marriage with me when I was nine. Sunan and Nasi 3256 Reference 26 Hadith 61 Sunan and Nasi. The Book of Marriage It was narrated that Abu Ubaidah said. Aisha said. The Messenger of Allah married me when I was nine and I lived with him for nine years. Sunan and Nasi 3257 Reference 26 Hadith 62 Sunan and Nasi. The Book of Marriage It was narrated from Aisha that the Messenger of Allah married her when she was nine and he died when she was eighteen years old. Sunan and Nasi 3258 Reference 26 Hadith 63 Sunan and Nasi. The Book of Marriage Umar bin al-Khattab, may Allah be pleased with him, narrated. Hafsa bint Umar became single when, her husband, Kunay bin Hudafa as Sami, died. He was one of the companions of the Prophet, and he died in al madinah Umar said, I went to Uthman bin Affan and offered Hafsa in marriage to him. I said, If you wish, I will marry you to Hafsa bint Umar. He said, I will think about it. A few days passed, then I met him and he said, It seems that I do not want to get married at the moment. Umar said, Then I met Abu Bakr as Sadiq, may Allah be pleased with him, and said, If you wish, I will marry Hafsa bint Umar to you. Abu Bakr remained silent, and did not give me any answer, and I felt more upset with him than I had with Uthman. Several days passed, then the Messenger of Allah proposed marriage to her and I married her to him. Abu Bakr met me and said, Perhaps you felt upset with me when you offered Hafsa in marriage to me, and I did not give you any answer? I said, Yes, he said. Nothing Sunan and Nasi 3259 Reference 26 Hadith 64 Sunan and Nasi the Book of Marriage prevented me from giving you an answer when you made the offer to me, except the fact that I had heard the Messenger of Allah speak of her, and I did not want to disclose the secret of the Messenger of Allah. If he had left her, then I would have married her. Sunan and Nasi 3259 Reference 26 Hadith 64 Sunan and Nasi the Book of Marriage it was narrated from Ibn Abbas that the Messenger of Allah said, A previously married woman has more right to decide about herself, with regard to marriage, than her guardian, and a virgin should be asked for permission with regard to marriage, and her permission is her silence. Sunan and Nasi 3260 Reference 26 Hadith 65 Sunan and Nasi the Book of Marriage it was narrated from Ibn Abbas that the Prophet said, A previously married woman has more right to decide about herself, with regard to marriage, than her guardian, and an orphan girl should be consulted, and her permission is her silence. Sunan and Nasi 3261 Reference 26 Hadith 66 Sunan and Nasi the Book of Marriage it was narrated from Ibn Abbas that the Messenger of Allah said, A previously married woman has more right, to decide, about herself, with regard to marriage, than her guardian, and an orphan girl should be consulted with regard to marriage, and her permission is her silence. Sunan and Nasi 3262 Reference 26 Hadith 67 Sunan and Nasi the Book of Marriage it was narrated from Ibn Abbas that the Prophet said, The guardian has no right, to force, the previously married woman, into a marriage. And an orphan girl should be consulted, and her silence is her approval. Sunan and Nasi 3263 Reference 26 Hadith 68 Sunan and Nasi the Book of Marriage it was narrated from Ibn Abbas that the Prophet said, A previously married woman has more right, to decide, about herself, with regard to marriage, and a virgin should be consulted by her father, 
and her permission is her silence. Sunan and Nasi 3264 reference 26 hadith 69. Sunan and Nasi the Book of Marriage It was narrated from Abu Huraira that the Messenger of Allah said, A previously married woman should not be married until her permission has been sought, and a virgin should not be married until her consent is sought. They said, O Messenger of Allah, how does she give her permission? He said, Her permission is if she keeps silent. Sunan and Nasi 3265 Reference 26 Hadith 70 Sunan in Nasai. The Book of Marriage It was narrated from Aisha that the Prophet said, Seek the permission of women with regard to marriage. It was said, What if a virgin is too shy and remains silent? He said, That is her permission. Sunan in Nasi 3266 Reference 26 Hadith 71 Sunan in Nasai. The Book of Marriage Abu Huraira narrated that the Messenger of Allah said, A previously married woman should not be married until her consent has been sought, and a virgin should not be married until her permission has been sought. They said, O Messenger of Allah, what is her permission? He said, If she remains silent. Sunan and Nasi 3267 Reference 26 Hadith 72 Sunan in Nasai. The Book of Marriage It was narrated from Kanza bint Kedem that her father married her off when she had been previously married, and she was unwilling. She went to the Messenger of Allah and he annulled the marriage. Sunan in Nasi 3268 Reference 26 Hadith 73 Sunan in Nasai. The Book of Marriage It was narrated from Aisha. A girl came to her and said, My father married me to his brother's son so that he might raise his own status thereby, and I was unwilling. She said, Sit here until the Prophet comes. Then the Messenger of Allah came, and I told him, what she had said. He sent word to her father, calling him, and he left the matter up to her. She said, O Messenger of Allah, I accept what my father did but I wanted to know whether women have any say in the matter. Sunan and Nasi 3269 Reference 26 Hadith 74 Sunan and Nasi. The Book of Marriage It was narrated that Abu Huraira said, The Messenger of Allah said, An orphan girl should be consulted with regard to marriage, and if she remains silent, that is her permission. If she refuses then she is not to be forced. Sunan and Nasi 3270 Reference 26 Hadith 75 Sunan and Nasi. The Book of Marriage It was narrated that Ibn Abbas said, The Messenger of Allah married Maimuna bint al-Harith when he was a Muram. According to the Hadith of Yala, one of the narrators, in Sarif. Sunan and Nasi 3271 Reference 26 Hadith 76 Sunan and Nasi. The Book of Marriage It was narrated from Abu Ash Shatha that Ibn Abbas told him. The Prophet married Maimuna when he was a Muram. Sunan and Nasi 3272 Reference 26 Hadith 77 Sunan and Nasi. The Book of Marriage It was narrated from Ibn Abbas that the Prophet married Maimuna when he was a Muram, and she appointed Al-Abbas in charge of her marriage, and he married her to him. Sunan and Nasi 3273 Reference 26 Hadith 78 Sunan and Nasi The Book of Marriage It was narrated from Ibn Abbas that the Messenger of Allah married Maimuna when he was a Muram. Sunan and Nasi 3274 Reference 26 Hadith 79 Sunan and Nasi. The Book of Marriage Uthman bin Affan, may Allah be pleased with him, said. The Messenger of Allah said. The Muram should not get married, or arrange a marriage for someone else, or propose marriage. 
Sunan and Nasi 3275 reference 26 hadith 80. Sunan and Nasi. The Book of Marriage Uthman bin Affan, may Allah be pleased with him, narrated that the Prophet said, The Muram should not get married, arrange a marriage for someone else, nor propose marriage. Sunan and Nasi 3276 reference 26 hadith 81. Sunan in Nasi. The Book of Marriage it was narrated that Abdullah said, The Messenger of Allah taught us the Tashahud for Salah and the Tashahud upon al hajjah He said, The Tashahud upon the occasion of marriage is, Alhamdu lillahi nastainahu wa nastigfaruhu, wa nadu billahi min shurori anfusina, man yada illahu fala madiya lahu wa man yudlil illahu fala hadiya lahu. Wa ashadu an la ilaha alala. Wa ashadu anna Muhammad peace be upon Hyman Abduhu wa Rasuluhu. Praise be to Allah. We seek his help and his forgiveness. We seek refuge with Allah from the evil of our own souls. Whomsoever Allah guides will never be led astray, and whomsoever Allah leaves astray, no one can guide. I bear witness that there is none worthy of worship but Allah and I bear witness that Muhammad peace be upon him is his slave and messenger. Then he recited three verses. Sunan and Nasi 3277 reference 26 hadith 82. Sunan and Nasi. The book of marriage it was narrated from Ibn Abbas that a man spoke to the Prophet about something and the Prophet said, Inalhamda lillahi namaduhu wa nastainahu. Man yada illahu fala madiya lahu wa man yudlil illahu fala hadiya lahu. Wa ashadu an la ilaha illallahu. Wadahu la sharika lahu. Wa ashadu anna Muhammad peace be upon Hyman abdahu wa rasuluhu. Amma bad. Praise be to Allah, we seek his help. Whomsoever Allah guides will never be led astray, and whomsoever Allah leaves astray, no one can guide. I bear witness that there is none worthy of worship but Allah, alone with no partners. And I bear witness that Muhammad peace be upon him is his slave and messenger. To proceed, Sunan and Nasi 3278 reference 26 hadith 83. Sunan and Nasi. The Book of Marriage it was narrated that Adi bin Hadam said, Two men recited a Tashahud before the Prophet and one of them said, Whoever obeys Allah and his Messenger has been guided aright and whoever disobeys them has gone astray. The Messenger of Allah said, What a bad speaker you are. Sunan and Nasi 3279 reference 26 hadith 84. Sunan and Nasi. The Book of Marriage Saul bin Sad said, I was among the people with the Prophet when a woman stood up and said, O Messenger of Allah, she has offered herself in marriage to you, so see what you think of her. He remained silent and the Prophet did not give any answer. Then she stood up, again, and said, O Messenger of Allah, she has offered herself in marriage to you, so see what you think of her. A man stood up and said, Marry her to me, O Messenger of Allah. He said, Do you have anything? He said, Number. He said, Go and look, even if it is just an iron ring. So he went and looked then he came and said, I could not find anything, not even an iron ring. He said, Have you memorized anything of the Quran? He said, Yes, surah such and such and surah such and such. He said, I will marry you to her on the basis of what you have memorized of the Quran. Sunan and Nasi 3280 reference 26 hadith 85. Sunan and Nasi. The Book of Marriage it was narrated from Yudba bin Amir that the Messenger of Allah said, The conditions that are most deserving of fulfillment, are those by means of which the private parts become allowed to you. Sunan and Nasi 3281 reference 26 hadith 86. Sunan and Nasi. 
The Book of Marriage It was narrated from Yutba bin Amir that the Messenger of Allah said, The conditions that are most deserving of fulfillment are those by means of which the private parts become permitted to you. Sunan and Nasi 3282 Reference 26 Hadith 87 Sunan and Nasi The Book of Marriage It was narrated that Aisha said, The wife of Rifah came to the Messenger of Allah and said, Rifah divorced me and made it irrevocable. Then I married Abdurra Rahman bin Az Zubair, and what he has is like the fringe of a garment. The Messenger of Allah smiled and said, Do you want to go back to Rifah? No, not unital he, Abdurra Rahman, tastes your sweetness and you taste his sweetness. Sunan and Nasi 3283 Reference 26 Hadith 88 Sunan in Nasai. The Book of Marriage Urwa narrated that Zainab bint Abi Salama, whose mother was Umm Salama, the wife of the Prophet, told him that Umm Habiba bint Abi Sufyan told her that she said, shocked face, Messenger of Allah, marry my sister, the daughter of Abu Sufyan. She said, The Messenger of Allah said, Would you like that? I said, Yes. I do not have you all to myself and I would like to share this goodness with my sister. The Prophet said, Your sister is not permissible for me, to marry. I said, By Allah, O Messenger of Allah, we have been saying that you want to marry Dora bint Abi Salama. He said, The daughter of Umm Salama? I said, Yes, he said, By Allah, even if she were not my stepdaughter who is in my care, she would not be permissible for me to marry, because she is the daughter of my brother through breastfeeding. Thuweba breastfed Abu Salama and Isa do not offer your daughters or sisters to me in marriage. Sunan and Nasi 3284 Reference 26 Hadith 89 Sunan and Nasi The Book of Marriage It was narrated from Zainab bint Abi Salama that Umm Habiba the wife of the Prophet said shocked face, Messenger of Allah, marry the daughter of my father, meaning her sister. The Messenger of Allah said, Would you like that? She said, Yes, I do not have you all to myself, and I would like to share this goodness with my sister. The Prophet said, That is not permissible for me. Umm Habiba said, O Messenger of Allah, by Allah, we have been saying that you want to marry Dora bint Abi Salama. He said, The daughter of Umm Salama? I said, Yes, he said, By Allah, even if she were not my stepdaughter who is in my care, she would not be permissible for me to marry, because she is the daughter of my brother through breastfeeding. Thuweba breastfed Abu Salama and Isa do not offer your daughters or sisters to me in marriage. Sunan and Nasi 3285 Reference 26 Hadith 90 Sunan and Nasi The Book of Marriage It was narrated from Iraq bin Malik that Zainab bint Abi Salama told him, that Umm Habiba said to the Messenger of Allah, We have been saying that you want to marry Dora bint Abi Salama. The Messenger of Allah said, As a co-wife to Umm Salama? Even if I were not married to Umm Salama, she would not be permissible to me, for her father is my brother through breastfeeding. Sunan and Nasi 3286 Reference 26 Hadith 91 Sunan and Nasi. The Book of Marriage It was narrated from Umm Habiba that she said shocked face, Messenger of Allah, what do you think of my sister? He said, What for? She said, for marriage. He said. Would you like that? She said. Yes, I do not have you all to myself, and I would like to share this goodness with my sister. He said. She is not permissible for me, to marry. She said. But I heard that you want to marry Dora, the daughter of Umm Salama. He said. The daughter of Umm Salama? She said. Yes, he said. By Allah, even if she were not my stepdaughter she would not be permissible for me to marry, because she is the daughter of my brother through breastfeeding. 
Do not offer your daughters and sisters to me in marriage. Sunan and Nasi 3287 Reference 26 Hadith 92 Sunan and Nasi The Book of Marriage It was narrated that Abu Huraira said, The Messenger of Allah said, A man should not be married to a woman and her paternal aunt nor to a woman and her maternal aunt at the same time. Sunan and Nasi 3288 Reference 26 Hadith 93 Sunan in Nasai. The Book of Marriage Kabisa bin Duwaid said that he heard Abu Huraira say, The Messenger of Allah forbade, being married to a woman and her paternal aunt or to a woman and her maternal aunt at the same time. Sunan in Nasi 3289 Reference 26 Hadith 94 Sunan in Nasai. The Book of Marriage it was narrated from Abu Huraira that the Messenger of Allah forbade being married to a woman and her paternal aunt or maternal aunt at the same time. Sunan and Nasi 3290 Reference 26 Hadith 95 Sunan and Nasi The Book of Marriage it was narrated from Abu Huraira that the Messenger of Allah forbade being married to four kinds of women at the same time a woman and her paternal aunt or a woman and her maternal aunt. Sunan and Nasi 3291 Reference 26 Hadith 96 Sunan and Nasi. The Book of Marriage It was narrated from Abu Huraira that the Messenger of Allah said, A woman should not be taken as a co-wife to her paternal aunt or her maternal aunt. Sunan and Nasi 3292 Reference 26 Hadith 97 Sunan and Nasi. The Book of Marriage It was narrated that Abu Huraira said, The Messenger of Allah forbade taking a woman as a co-wife to her paternal aunt or her maternal aunt. Sunan and Nasi 3293 Reference 26 Hadith 98 Sunan and Nasai. The Book of Marriage It was narrated from Abu Huraira that the Messenger of Allah said, A woman should not be taken as a co-wife to her paternal aunt or her maternal aunt. Sunan and Nasi 3294 Reference 26 Hadith 99 Sunan and Nasai. The Book of Marriage It was narrated from Abu Huraira that the Messenger of Allah said, a woman should not be taken as a co-wife to her paternal aunt or her maternal aunt. Sunan and Nasi 3295 Reference 26 Hadith 100 Sunan and Nasi. The Book of Marriage It was narrated that Abu Huraira said, The Messenger of Allah forbade taking a woman as a co-wife to her paternal aunt or her maternal aunt. Sunan and Nasi 3296 Reference 26 Hadith 101 Sunan and Nasi. The Book of Marriage Asim said, I read a book to Ash Shabi in which it was narrated from Habir that the Prophet said, A woman should not be taken as a co-wife to her paternal aunt or her maternal aunt. He said, I heard that from Habir. Sunan and Nasi 3297 Reference 26 Hadith 102 Sunan and Nasi. The Book of Marriage Habir bin Abdullah said, The Messenger of Allah forbade taking a woman as a co-wife to her paternal aunt or maternal aunt. Sunan and Nasi 3298 Reference 26 Hadith 103 Sunan and Nasi. The Book of Marriage It was narrated that Habir said, The Messenger of Allah forbade taking a woman as a co-wife to her paternal aunt or maternal aunt. Sunan and Nasi 3299 Reference 26 Hadith 104 Sunan and Nasi. The Book of Marriage It was narrated from Aisha that the Prophet said, What becomes unlawful, for marriage, through birth becomes unlawful through breastfeeding. Sunan and Nasi 3300 Reference 26 Hadith 105 Sunan and Nasi. 
The Book of Marriage it was narrated from Aisha that her paternal uncle through breastfeeding, whose name was Afla, asked permission to meet her, and she observed hijab before him. The Messenger of Allah was told about that and he said, Do not observe hijab before him, for what becomes unlawful, for marriage, through breastfeeding is that which becomes unlawful through lineage. Sunan and Nasi 3301 Reference 26 Hadith 106 Sunan and Nasi. The Book of Marriage It was narrated from Aisha that the Prophet said, What becomes unlawful, for marriage, through breastfeeding is that which becomes unlawful through lineage. Sunan and Nasi 3302 Reference 26 Hadith 107 Sunan and Nasi. The Book of Marriage It was narrated that Amra said, I heard Aisha say. The Messenger of Allah said, What becomes unlawful, for marriage, through breastfeeding is that which becomes unlawful through birth. Sunan and Nasi 3303 Reference 26 Hadith 108 Sunan and Nasi. The Book of Marriage It was narrated that Ali, May Allah be pleased with him, said. I said, O Messenger of Allah, why do you choose wives from among Quraysh and not from among us? He said, Do you have anyone in mind? I said, Yes, the daughter of Hamza. The Messenger of Allah said, She is not permissible for me, to marry, she is the daughter of my brother through breastfeeding. Sunan and Nasi 3304 Reference 26 Hadith 109 Sunan and Nasi. The Book of Marriage It was narrated that Ibn Abbas said, Mention was made to the Messenger of Allah of the daughter of Hamza, as a potential wife. He said, She is the daughter of my brother through breastfeeding. One of the narrators, Shuba said, Qatada heard this from Habir bin Zayd. Sunan and Nasi 3305 Reference 26 Hadith 110 Sunan and Nasi. The Book of Marriage It was narrated from Ibn Abbas that the daughter of Hamza was suggested to Messenger of Allah, as a potential wife. He said, She is the daughter of my brother through breastfeeding, and what becomes unlawful, for marriage, through breastfeeding is the same as that which becomes unlawful through lineage. Sunan and Nasi 3306 Reference 26 Hadith 111 Sunan and Nasi. The Book of Marriage It was narrated that Aisha said, One of the things that Allah, the Mighty and Sublime, revealed. One of the narrators, Al-Harith said, In his narration, one of the things that were revealed in the Quran was that ten known breastfeedings make marriage prohibited, then that was abrogated and changed to five known breastfeedings. Then the Messenger of Allah passed away when this was something that was still being recited in the Quran. Sunan and Nasi 3307 Reference 26 Hadith 112 Sunan and Nasi the Book of Marriage it was narrated from Umm Fadl that the Prophet of Allah was asked about breastfeeding and said, Suckling, al-Imlaja, once or twice does not make, marriage, prohibited. And, one of the narrators, Qatada said, in his narration, Suckling, al-Masa, once or twice does not make, marriage, prohibited. Sunan and Nasi 3308 Reference 26 Hadith 113 Sunan and Nasi. The Book of Marriage It was narrated from Abdullah bin Az Zubair that the Prophet said, Suckling once or twice does not make, marriage, prohibited. Sunan and Nasi 3309 Reference 26 Hadith 114 Sunan and Nasi. The Book of Marriage It was narrated that Aisha said, The Messenger of Allah said, Suckling once or twice does not make, marriage, prohibited. Sunan and Nasi 3310 Reference 26 Hadith 115 Sunan and Nasi. 
The Book of Marriage Sa'id narrated from Qatada. We wrote to Ibrahim bin Yazid in Nakai asking him about breastfeeding. He wrote back saying that Sharia had narrated that Ali and Ibn Masud used to say, A little or a lot of breastfeeding makes marriage prohibited. In his book, it said that Abu Ash Shatha al Muharibi narrated that Aisha had told him that the Prophet of Allah used to say, Suckling, al Katfa, once or twice does not make marriage prohibited. Sunan and Nasi 3311 Reference 26 Hadith 116 Sunan and Nasi. The Book of Marriage It was narrated that Masruk said, Aisha said, The Messenger of Allah entered upon me and there was a man sitting with me. He got upset about that, and I saw the anger in his face. I said, O Messenger of Allah, he is my brother through breastfeeding. He said, Be careful who you count as your brothers, or Be careful who you count as your brothers through breastfeeding, for the breastfeeding, which makes marriage prohibited, is from hunger. Sunan and Nasi 3312 Reference 26 Hadith 117 Sunan and Nasi the Book of Marriage It was narrated from Amra that Aisha told her that the Messenger of Allah was with her and she heard a man asking permission to enter Hafsa's house. Aisha said, I said, O Messenger of Allah, there is a man asking permission to enter your house. The Messenger of Allah said, I think it is so and so the paternal uncle of Hafsa through breastfeeding. Aisha said, If so and so, her own paternal uncle through breastfeeding, were alive, would he be allowed to enter upon me? The Messenger of Allah said, what becomes unlawful, for marriage, through breastfeeding is that which becomes unlawful through birth. Sunan and Nasi 3313 Reference 26 Hadith 118 Sunan and Nasi. The Book of Marriage It was narrated from Urwa that Aisha told him, My paternal uncle through breastfeeding, Abu al-Jad, came to me, and I sent him away. He, one of the narrators, said, Hisham said, he was Abu al k Then the Messenger of Allah came, and I told him. The Messenger of Allah said, Give him permission, to enter. Sunan and Nasi 3314 Reference 26 Hadith 119 Sunan and Nasi the Book of Marriage It was narrated from Aisha that the brother of Abu al k asked permission to enter upon Aisha after the verse of hijab had been revealed, and she refused to let him in. Mention of that was made to the Prophet and he said, Let him in, for he is your paternal uncle. She said, The woman breast fed me, not the man. He said, He is your paternal uncle, so let him visit you. Sunan and Nasi 3315 Reference 26 Hadith 120 Sunan and Nasi. The Book of Marriage It was narrated that Aisha said, Afla, the brother of Abu al k who was my paternal uncle through breastfeeding, used to ask permission to enter upon me, and I refused to let him in until the Messenger of Allah came, and I told him about that. He said, Let him in for he is your paternal uncle. Aisha said. That was after the, verse of, hijab had been revealed. Sunan and Nasi 3316 Reference 26 Hadith 121 Sunan and Nasi. The Book of Marriage It was narrated that Aisha said. My paternal uncle Afla asked permission to enter upon me after the, verse of, hijab had been revealed but I did not let him in. The Prophet came to me and I asked him, about that, and he said, Let him in, for he is your paternal uncle. I said, O Messenger of Allah, the woman breast fed me, not the man. He said, Let him in, may your hands be rubbed with dust, for he is your uncle. Sunan and Nasi 3317 Reference 26 Hadith 122 Sunan and Nasi. 
the book of marriage it was narrated that Aisha said. Afla, the brother of Abu al k came and asked permission to enter, and I said, I will not let him in until I seek the permission of the Prophet of Allah. When the Prophet of Allah came, I said to him, Afla, the brother of Abu al k came and asked permission to enter, but I refused to let him in. He said, Let him in, for he is your paternal uncle. I said, The wife of Abu al k breastfed me, the man did not breastfeed me. He said, Let him in, for he is your paternal uncle. Sunan and Nasi 3318 Reference 26 Hadith 123 Sunan and Nasi. The Book of Marriage Zainab bint Abi Salama said, I heard Aisha, the wife of the Prophet say. Salah bint Sahail came to the Messenger of Allah and said, O Messenger of Allah, I see, displeasure, in the face of Abu Hudhaifa when Salim enters upon me. The Messenger of Allah said, Breast feed him. She said, He has a beard. He said, Breast feed him, and that will take away, the displeasure, in the face of Abu Hudhaifa. She said, By Allah, I never saw that on the face of Abu Hudhaifa after that. Sunan and Nasi 3319 Reference 26 Hadith 124 Sunan and Nasi. The Book of Marriage It was narrated that Aisha said. Salah bint Sahail came to the Messenger of Allah and said. I see, displeasure. In the face of Abu Hudhaifa when Salim enters upon me. The Messenger of Allah said. Breast feed him. She said. How can I breastfeed him when he is a grown man? He said, Don't I know that he is a grown man? Then she came after that and said, By the one who sent you with the truth as a prophet, I have never seen anything I dislike on the face of Abu Hudhaifa after that. Sunan and Nasi 3320 Reference 26 Hadith 125 Sunan and Nasi the Book of Marriage it was narrated that Aisha said. The Messenger of Allah commanded the wife of Abu Hudhaifa to breastfeed Salim, the freed slave of Abu Hudhaifa, so that the protective jealousy of Abu Hudhaifa would be dispelled. She breast fed him when he was a man. One of the narrators, Rabia said, that was a concession granted to Salim. Sunan and Nasi 3321 Reference 26 Hadith 126 Sunan and Nasi. The Book of Marriage It was narrated that Aisha said. Salah came to the Messenger of Allah and said. O Messenger of Allah. Salim enters upon us and he understands what men understand, and knows what men know. He said. Breast feed him, and you will become unlawful to him thereby. Ibn Abi Mulaika, one of the narrators said smiley face. For a year I did not narrate this, then I met al Qasim, and he said. Narrate it and do not worry about it. Sunan and Nasi 3322 Reference 26 Hadith 127 Sunan and Nasi the Book of Marriage it was narrated from Aisha that Salim, the freed slave of Abu Hudhaifa, was with Abu Hudhaifa and his family in their house. The daughter of Sahail came to the Prophet and said, Salim has reached the age of manhood, and understands what men understand. He enters upon us, and I think that Abu Hudhaifa is not happy about that. The Prophet said, Breast feed him, and you will become unlawful to him. So she breast fed him, and the displeasure of Abu Hudhaifa disappeared. She came back to him and said, I breast fed him and the displeasure of Abu Hudhaifa has disappeared. Sunan and Nasi 3323 Reference 26 Hadith 128 Sunan and Nasi. The Book of Marriage it was narrated that Urwa said, the rest of the wives of the Prophet refused for anyone to enter upon them on the basis of that type of breastfeeding, meaning breastfeeding of an adult. They said to Aisha, By Allah, 
We think that what the Messenger of Allah told Salah bint Sahail to do was a concession which was granted by the Messenger of Allah only with regard to breastfeeding Salim. By Allah, no one will enter upon us, nor see us on the basis of this type of breastfeeding. Sunan and Nasi 3324 Reference 26 Hadith 129 Sunan in Nasi. The Book of Marriage Zainab bint Abu Salama narrated that her mother Um Salama, the wife of the Prophet, used to say, The rest of the wives of the Prophet refused for anyone to enter upon them on the basis of that type of breastfeeding, meaning breastfeeding of an adult. They said to Aisha, By Allah, we think that this is a concession which the Messenger of Allah granted only to Salim. No one will enter upon us nor see us on the basis of this type of breastfeeding. Sunan and Nasi 3325 Reference 26 Hadith 130 Sunan and Nasi. The Book of Marriage It was narrated from Aisha that Judama bint Wab told her that the Messenger of Allah said, I was thinking of forbidding Gila until I remembered that it is done by the Persians and Romans. One of the narrators, Isak said, they do that and it does not harm their children. Sunan and Nasi 3326 Reference 26 Hadith 131 Sunan and Nasi. The Book of Marriage It was narrated from Abdur Rahman bin Bishr bin Masood, who attributed the Hadith to Abu Sa'id al-Qudri, that mention of that coitus interruptus was made to the Messenger of Allah and he said, why do you do that? We said. A man may have a wife, and he has intercourse with her, but he does not want her to get pregnant, or he may have a concubine, and he has intercourse with her, but he does not want her to get pregnant. He said. It does not make any difference if you do that, for it is the matter of al qadr Sunan and Nasi 3327 Reference 26 Hadith 132 Sunan in Nasi. The Book of Marriage It was narrated from Abu Sa'id as Zaraki that a man asked the Messenger of Allah about coitus interruptus and said, My wife is breastfeeding and I do not want her to get pregnant. The Prophet said, What has been decreed in the womb will come to be. Sunan in Nasi 3328 Reference 26 Hadith 133 Sunan in Nasi. The Book of Marriage It was narrated from Hajjaj bin Hajjaj that his father said. I said. O Messenger of Allah, how can I pay back the dues of the one who breast fed me? He said. By giving a male or female slave. Sunan in Nasi 3329 Reference 26 Hadith 134 Sunan in Nasi. The Book of Marriage It was narrated that Uqba bin al-Harith said, I married a woman. Then a black woman came to us and said, I breastfed you both. I went to the Prophet and said, I married so and so and a black woman came to me and said, I breastfed you both. He turned away from me so I came to him from the other side and said, She is lying. He said, how can you be intimate with your wife when she says that she breastfed you both? Leave her, divorce her. Sunan and Nasi 3330 Reference 26 Hadith 135 Sunan and Nasi. The Book of Marriage It was narrated that Al-Bara said, I met my maternal uncle who was carrying a flag, for an expedition, and I said, Where are you going? He said, the Messenger of Allah is sending me to a man who has married his father's wife after he died, to strike his neck or kill him. Sunan and Nasi 3331 Reference 26 Hadith 136 Sunan and Nasi. The Book of Marriage It was narrated from Yazid bin al-Bara that his father said, I met my maternal uncle who was carrying a flag, for an expedition, and I said, where are you going? He said. The Messenger of Allah is sending me to a man who has married his father's wife, and he has commanded me to strike his neck, 
kill him, and seize his wealth. Sunan and Nasi 3332 Reference 26 Hadith 137 Sunan and Nasi. The Book of Marriage It was narrated from Abu Sa'id al-Qudri that the Prophet of Allah sent an army to Adis. They met the enemy, fought them, and prevailed over them. They acquired female prisoners who had husbands among the idolaters. The Muslims felt reluctant to be intimate with them. Then Allah, the mighty and sublime revealed. Also, forbidden are, women already married, except those, slaves, whom your right hands possess, meaning, this is permissible for you once they have completed their idda. Sunan and Nasi 3333 Reference 26 Hadith 138 Sunan in Nasi. The Book of Marriage It was narrated from Ibn Umar that the Messenger of Allah forbade Ash Shighar. Sunan in Nasi 3334 Reference 26 Hadith 139 Sunan in Nasi. The Book of Marriage It was narrated from Imran bin Husayn that the Messenger of Allah said, There is no bringing, no avoidance and no Shighar in Islam and whoever robs, he is not one of us. Sunan and Nasi 3335 Reference 26 Hadith 140 Sunan and Nasi. The Book of Marriage It was narrated that Anas said. The Messenger of Allah said. There is no bringing, no avoidance and no shikhar in Islam, and whoever robs, he is not one of us. Sunan and Nasi 3336 Reference 26 Hadith 141 Sunan and Nasi. The Book of Marriage It was narrated from Ibn Umar that the Messenger of Allah forbade Ash Shighar. Ash Shighar means when a man marries his daughter to another man, on the condition that that man marries his daughter to him, and no dowry is exchanged between them. Sunan and Nasi 3337 Reference 26 Hadith 142 Sunan and Nasi. The Book of Marriage It was narrated that Abu Huraira said, The Messenger of Allah forbade Ash Shighar. One of the narrators, Ubaidullah said, Ash Shighar means when a man gives his daughter in marriage on condition that the other man gives him his sister in marriage. Sunan and Nasi 3338 Reference 26 Hadith 143 Sunan and Nasi. The Book of Marriage It was narrated from Saul bin Sa'd that a woman came to the Messenger of Allah and said shocked face, Messenger of Allah, I have come to offer myself to you, in marriage. The Messenger of Allah looked her up and down then lowered his head. When the woman saw that he was not saying anything about her, she sat down. A man among his companions stood up and said, O Messenger of Allah, if you do not want to marry her, then marry me to her. He said, Do you have anything? He said, No, by Allah, I do not have anything. He said, Look, even if it is only an iron ring. He went, then he came back and said, no, by Allah, O Messenger of Allah, not even an iron ring, but this is my Izer, lower garment, Saul said. He did not have a rida, upper garment, she can have half of it. The Messenger of Allah said, What could she do with your Izer? If you wear it, she will not have any of it, and if she wears it, you will not have any of it. The man sat down for a long time, then he got up, and the Messenger of Allah Sunan and Nasi 3339 Reference 26 Hadith 144 Sunan and Nasi. The Book of Marriage saw him leaving, so he ordered that he be called back. When he came, he said, What do you know of the Quran? He said, I know Surah such and such, and Surah such and such, and listed them. He said, can you recite them by heart? He said. Yes, he said. Then I marry you to her on the basis of what you know of the Quran. 
Sunan and Nasi 3339 Reference 26 Hadith 144 Sunan and Nasi. The Book of Marriage It was narrated that Anas said, Abu Talha married Umm Sulaim and the dowry between them was Islam. Umm Sulaim became Muslim before Abu Talha, and he proposed to her but she said, I have become Muslim, if you become Muslim I will marry you. So he became Muslim, and that was the dowry between them. Sunan and Nasi 3340 Reference 26 Hadith 145 Sunan and Nasi. The Book of Marriage It was narrated that Anas said, Abu Talha proposed marriage to Umm Sulaim and she said, By Allah, a man like you is not to be rejected, O Abu Talha, but you are a disbeliever and I am a Muslim, and it is not permissible for me to marry you. If you become Muslim, that will be my dowry, and I will not ask you for anything else. So he became Muslim and that was her dowry. One of the narrators, Thabit said, I have never heard of a woman whose dowry was more precious than Umm Sulaim, whose dowry was Islam. And he consummated the marriage with her, and she bore him a child. Sunan and Nasi 3341 Reference 26 Hadith 146 Sunan and Nasi the Book of Marriage It was narrated from Annas that the Messenger of Allah manumitted Sophia and made that her dowry. Sunan and Nasi 3342 Reference 26 Hadith 147 Sunan and Nasi The Book of Marriage It was narrated from Annas that the Messenger of Allah manumitted Sophia and made her freedom her dowry. Sunan and Nasi 3343 Reference 26 Hadith 148 Sunan and Nasi. The Book of Marriage It was narrated that Abu Musa said, The Messenger of Allah said, There are three who will be given a twofold reward. A man who has a slave woman whom he disciplines and disciplines her well, and teaches and teaches her well, then he manumits her and marries her a slave who fulfills his duty toward Allah and toward his masters, and a believer from among the people of the book. Sunan and Nasi 3344 Reference 26 Hadith 149 Sunan and Nasi. The Book of Marriage It was narrated that Abu Musa said, The Messenger of Allah said, Whoever manumits his female slave, then marries her, he will have two rewards. Sunan and Nasi 3345 Reference 26 Hadith 150 Sunan and Nasi. The Book of Marriage Urwa bin Az Zubair narrated that he asked Aisha about the saying of Allah, the Mighty and Sublime. And if you fear that you shall not be able to deal justly with the orphan girls then marry, other, women of your choice. She said, O son of my sister, this refers to a female orphan who is in the care of her guardian, and her wealth is joined to his, and he is attracted to her wealth and her beauty. So her guardian wants to marry her without being fair with regard to her dowry, and without giving her what someone else would give her. So they were forbidden to marry them unless they were fair to them and gave them the highest possible dowry that is customarily given, and they were commanded to marry other women of their choice. Urwa said, Aisha said. Then later on, Allah, the mighty and sublime, revealed concerning them. They ask your legal instruction concerning women, say. Allah instructs you about them, and about what is recited unto you in the book concerning the orphan girls whom Sunan and Nasi 3346 reference 26 hadith 151. Sunan and Nasi. The book of marriage you give not the prescribed portions and yet whom you desire to marry. Aisha said. What Allah, Most High, mentioned here that is recited in the book is the first verse in which it says. And if you fear that you shall not be able to deal justly with orphan girls then marry, other, women of your choice. Aisha said. 
what is referred to in the other verse and yet whom you desire to marry is the desire of one of you not to marry orphan girl who is under his care if she is lacking in wealth and beauty. So they were forbidden to marry those orphan women to whose wealth they were attracted unless they were fair, because of their desire not to marry those who were lacking in wealth and beauty. Sunan and Nasi 3346 Reference 26 Hadith 151 Sunan and Nasi. The Book of Marriage It was narrated that Abu Salama said. I asked Aisha about that and she said. The Messenger of Allah got married, and married his daughters. For twelve Ukiah and a Nash which is five hundred dirhams. Sunan and Nasi 3347 Reference 26 Hadith 152 Sunan and Nasi. The Book of Marriage It was narrated that Abu Huraira said, The dowry, when the Messenger of Allah was among us, was ten awak. Sunan and Nasi 3348 Reference 26 Hadith 153 Sunan in Nasi. The Book of Marriage It was narrated that Abu al-Ajfa said. Umar bin al-Khattab said. Do not go to extremes with regard to the dowries of women, for if that were a sign of honor and dignity in this world, or a sign of piety before Allah, the mighty and sublime, then Muhammad peace be upon him would have done that before you. But he did not give any of his wives, and none of his daughters were given, more than twelve yukia. A man may increase the dowry until he feels resentment against her and says, You cost me everything I own, a local kurba. And I was a man born among the Arabs. But I did not know the meaning of a local kurba and others of you are saying about those killed in this or that battle of yours, or who died. So and so was martyred or so and so died as a martyr. While perhaps he merely overloaded the backside of his beast or lined his saddle with gold or silver seeking trade. So do not say that, rather say as the Prophet said, whoever is killed in the cause of Allah, or dies, then he is in paradise. Sunan and Nasi 3349 Reference 26 Hadith 154 Sunan and Nasi the Book of Marriage It was narrated from Umm Habiba that the Messenger of Allah married her when she was in Ethiopia. And Najashi performed the marriage for her and gave her a dowry of four thousand, and he fitted her out from his own wealth, and sent her with Shurabil bin Hassana. The Messenger of Allah did not send her anything, and the dowry of his wives was four hundred dirhams. Sunan and Nasi 3350 Reference 26 Hadith 155 Sunan and Nasi. The Book of Marriage It was narrated from Anas bin Malik that Abdur Rahman bin Awf came to the Prophet with traces of yellow perfume on him. The Messenger of Allah asked him, about that, and he told him that he had married a woman from among the Ansar. The Messenger of Allah said, how much did you give her? He said. Anawa, five dirhams, of gold. The messenger of Allah said. Give a wilima, wedding feast, even if it is with one sheep. Sunan and Nasi 3351 Reference 26 Hadith 156 Sunan and Nasi. The Book of Marriage Abdur Rahman bin Awf said. The Messenger of Allah saw me looking cheerful as I had just got married. I said. I have gotten married to a woman of the Ansar. He said. How much did you give her as a dowry? He said. Anawa, five dirhams, of gold. Sunan and Nasi 3352 Reference 26 Hadith 157 Sunan and Nasi. The Book of Marriage It was narrated from Abdur Rahman bin Amr. The Messenger of Allah said. Whatever is given as a dowry, or gift or is promised her before the marriage belongs to her. Whatever is given after the marriage belongs to the one to whom it was given. And the most deserving for which a man is to be honored is, when marrying off, his daughter or sister. This is the wording of Abdullah, 
one of the narrators. Sunan and Nasi 3353 reference 26 hadith 158. Sunan and Nasi. The Book of Marriage it was narrated that Alkamah and Al Aswad said, A man was brought to Abdullah who had married a woman without naming a dowry for her. Then he died before consummating the marriage with her. Abdullah said, Ask whether they can find any report about that. They said, O Abu Abdur Rahman, we cannot find any report about that. He said, I will say what I think, and if it is correct then it is from Allah. She should have a dowry like that of her peers and no less, with no injustice, and she may inherit from him, and she has to observe the idda. A man from Asia stood up and said, the Messenger of Allah passed a similar judgment among us concerning a woman called Birwa bint Washik. She married a man who died before consummating the marriage with her, and the Messenger of Allah ruled that she should be given a dowry like that of her peers, and she could inherit, and she had to observe the idda. Abdullah raised his hands and said the takbir. Sunan and Nasi 3354 reference 26 hadith 159. Sunan and Nasi. The Book of Marriage it was narrated from Abdullah that a woman was brought to him who had married a man then he had died without naming any dowry for her and without consummating the marriage with her. They kept coming to him for nearly a month, and he did not issue any ruling to them. Then he said, I think that she should have a dowry like that of her peers no less, with no injustice and she may inherit from him and she has to observe the idda. Makal bin Sinan al-Ashjai testified, The Messenger of Allah passed a similar judgment concerning Birwa bint Washik. Sunan and Nasi 3355 reference 26 hadith 160. Sunan and Nasi. The Book of Marriage it was narrated that Abdullah said, concerning a man who married a woman, then died before consummating the marriage with her, and without naming a dowry, she should have the dowry, and she has to observe the idda, and she may inherit. Makal bin Sinan said, I heard the Prophet pass the same judgment concerning Birwa bint Washik. Sunan and Nasi 3356 reference 26 hadith 161. Sunan and Nasi, the Book of Marriage, another chain, with a similar narration. Sunan and Nasi 3357 reference 26 hadith 162. Sunan and Nasi. The Book of Marriage it was narrated from Abdullah that some people came to him and said, A man among us married a woman, but he did not name a dowry for her, and he did not have intercourse with her before he died. Abdullah said, since I left the Messenger of Allah I have never been asked a more difficult question than this. Go to someone else. They kept coming to him for a month. Then at the end of that they said, Who shall we ask if we do not ask you? You are one of the most prominent companions of Muhammad peace be upon him in this land and we cannot find anyone else. He said, I will say what I think, and if it is correct then it is from Allah alone, with no partner and if it is wrong then it is from me and from the shaitan, and Allah and his messenger have nothing to do with it. I think she should be given a dowry like that of her peers and no less, with no injustice, and she may inherit from him, and she has to observe the idda, four months and ten days. He said, and that was heard by some people from Sunan and Nasi 3358 reference 26 hadith 163. Sunan and Nasi, the Book of Marriage Asia, who stood up and said, We bear witness that you have passed the same judgment as the Messenger of Allah did concerning a woman from among us who was called Birwa bint Washik. He said, Abdullah was never seen looking so happy as he did on that day, except with having accepted Islam. Sunan and Nasi 3358 reference 26 hadith 163. Sunan and Nasi. 
The Book of Marriage It was narrated from Saul bin Sa'd that a woman came to the Messenger of Allah and said shocked face, Messenger of Allah, I give myself in marriage to you. She stood for a long time, then a man stood up and said, Marry her to me if you do not want to marry her. The Messenger of Allah said, Do you have anything? He said, I cannot find anything. He said, Look, for something even if it is only an iron ring. So he looked but he could not find anything. The Messenger of Allah said to him, Have you, memorized, anything of the Quran? He said, Yes, Surah such and such and Surah such and such, naming them. The Messenger of Allah said, I marry her to you for what you know of the Quran. Sunan and Nasi 3359 Reference 26 Hadith 164 Sunan and Nasi The Book of Marriage It was narrated from Anuman bin Bashir that the Prophet said, concerning a man who had intercourse with his wife's slave woman. If she let him do that, I will flog him with one hundred stripes, and if she did not let him, I will stone him, to death. Sunan and Nasi 3360 Reference 26 Hadith 165 Sunan and Nasi The Book of Marriage It was narrated from Anuman bin Bashir that a man called Abdur Rahman bin Hunan or Yunbaz Kirkar had intercourse with his wife's slave woman, and it was brought to Anuman bin Bashir. He said, I will pass the same judgment concerning her as the Messenger of Allah did. If she let you do that, I will flog you, but if she did not let you do that, I will stone you, to death. She had let him do that so he flogged him with one hundred stripes. One of the narrators, Katada said, I wrote to Habib bin Salim and he wrote back to me with this information. Sunan and Nasi 3361 Reference 26 Hadith 166 Sunan and Nasi. The Book of Marriage It was narrated from Anuman bin Bashir that the Messenger of Allah said, concerning a man who had intercourse with his wife's slave woman. If she let him do that, I will flog him with one hundred stripes, and if she did not let him do that, I will stone him, to death. Sunan and Nasi 3362 Reference 26 Hadith 167 Sunan and Nasi. The Book of Marriage It was narrated that Salama bin al muhabak said, The Prophet passed judgment concerning a man who had intercourse with his wife's slave woman. If he forced her, then she is free, and he has to give her mistress a similar slave as a replacement. If she obeyed him in that, then she belongs to him, and he has to give her mistress a similar slave as a replacement. Sunan and Nasi 3363 Reference 26 Hadith 168 Sunan and Nasi. The Book of Marriage It was narrated from Salama bin al muhabak that a man had intercourse with a slave woman belonging to his wife, and was brought to the Messenger of Allah. He said, If he forced her, then she is free at his expense and he has to give her mistress a similar slave as a replacement. If she obeyed him in that, then she belongs to her mistress, and he has to give her mistress a similar slave as well. Sunan and Nasi 3364 Reference 26 Hadith 169 Sunan and Nasi. The Book of Marriage It was narrated from Al-Hasan and Abdullah, the sons of Muhammad peace be upon him, from their father that Ali heard that a man did not see anything wrong with Mutah, temporary marriage. He said, You are confused, the Messenger of Allah forbade it, and the meat of domestic donkeys on the day of Kaibar. Sunan and Nasi 3365 Reference 26 Hadith 170 Sunan and Nasi. The Book of Marriage It was narrated from Abdullah and Al-Hasan the sons of Muhammad peace be upon him bin Ali, from their father, from Ali bin Abi Talib, that the Messenger of Allah on the day of Kaibar forbade temporary marriage to women, and, he also forbade, the meat of tame donkeys. 
Sunan and Nasi 3366 Reference 26 Hadith 171 Sunan and Nasi. The Book of Marriage Malik bin Anas narrated that Ibn Shihab told him that Abdullah and Al-Hasan, the sons of Muhammad peace be upon him bin Ali, told him, that their father Muhammad peace be upon him bin Ali told them, that Ali bin Abi Talib, may Allah be pleased with him, said, the Messenger of Allah on the day of Kaibar forbade temporary marriage to women. One of the narrators, Ibn al-Mutana said, the day of Hunan. He said, this is what Abdul Wahab narrated to us from his book. Sunan and Nasi 3367 Reference 26 Hadith 172 Sunan and Nasi. The Book of Marriage It was narrated from A.R. Rabi bin Sabra al-Juhani that his father said, The Messenger of Allah gave permission for Mutal. So I and another man went to a woman from Bani Amir and offered ourselves to her. For Mutal. She said, What will you give me? I said, my rida, upper garment. My companion also said, my rida. My companion's rida was finer than mine, but I was younger than him. When she looked at my companion's rida she liked it, but when she looked at me, she liked me. Then she said, you and your rida are sufficient for me. I stayed with her for three days. Then the messenger of Allah said, Whoever has any of these women whom he married temporarily should let them go. Sunan and Nasi 3368 Reference 26 Hadith 173 Sunan and Nasi. The Book of Marriage It was narrated that Muhammad peace be upon him bin Hatib said. The Messenger of Allah said. What differentiates between the lawful and the unlawful is the duff, and the voice, singing for the wedding. Sunan and Nasi 3369 Reference 26 Hadith 174 Sunan and Nasi. The Book of Marriage It was narrated that Abu Balj said, I heard Muhammad peace be upon him bin Hatib say. What differentiates between the lawful and the unlawful is the voice, singing. Sunan and Nasi 3370 Reference 26 Hadith 175 Sunan and Nasi. The Book of Marriage It was narrated that Al-Hasan said, Akal bin Abi Talib married a woman from Banu Jushim, and it was said to him, May you live in harmony and have many sons. He said, Say what the Messenger of Allah said, Barak Allahu Fikam. Wa Barak Alakam. May Allah bless you and bestow blessings upon you. Sunan and Nasi 3371 Reference 26 Hadith 176. Sunan and Nasi. The Book of Marriage It was narrated that Anas said, The Messenger of Allah saw traces of yellow perfume on Abdur Rahman and said, What is this? He said, I married a woman for a Nawa, five dirhams, of gold. He said, May Allah bless you. Give a Wilima, wedding feast, even if it is with one sheep. Sunan and Nasi 3372 Reference 26 Hadith 177 Sunan and Nasi the Book of Marriage It was narrated from Anas that Abdur Rahman bin Awf came with a trace of saffron on him, and the Messenger of Allah said, What's this for? He said, I have married a woman. He said, What dowry did you give? He said, The weight of a nawa, five dirhams, of gold. He said, Give a wilima, wedding feast, even if it is with one sheep. Sunan and Nasi 3373 Reference 26 Hadith 178 Sunan and Nasi. The Book of Marriage It was narrated that Anas said, The Messenger of Allah saw a trace of yellow perfume on me as if he meant Abdur Rahman bin Awf and said, What's this for? He said, I have married a woman from among the Ansar. He said, Give a Wilima, wedding feast, 
even if it is with one sheep. Sunan and Nasi 3374 reference 26 hadith 179. Sunan in Nasi. The Book of Marriage it was narrated from Ibn Abbas that Ali said. I got married to Fatima. May Allah be pleased with her. And I said. O Messenger of Allah. Let me consummate the marriage. He said. Give her something. I said. I do not have anything. He said. Where is your Hutami armor? I said. It is with me. He said. Give it to her. Sunan and Nasi 3375 Reference 26 Hadith 180 Sunan and Nasi. The Book of Marriage It was narrated that Ibn Abbas said, When Ali, may Allah be pleased with him, married Fatima, may Allah be pleased with her, the Messenger of Allah said to him, Give her something. He said, I do not have anything. He said, where is your Hutami armor? Sunan and Nasi 3376 Reference 26 Hadith 181 Sunan and Nasi. The Book of Marriage It was narrated that Aisha said, The Prophet married me in Shawal, and he consummated the marriage with me in Shawal, and which of his wives find more favor with him than me? Sunan and Nasi 3377 Reference 26 Hadith 182 Sunan and Nasi. The Book of Marriage It was narrated that Aisha said, The Messenger of Allah married me when I was six, and consummated the marriage with me when I was nine, and I used to play with dolls. Sunan and Nasi 3378 Reference 26 Hadith 183 Sunan and Nasi. The Book of Marriage It was narrated that Aisha said, The Messenger of Allah married me when I was six, and consummated the marriage with me when I was nine. Sunan and Nasi 3379 Reference 26 Hadith 184 Sunan and Nasi. The Book of Marriage It was narrated from Anas. The Messenger of Allah invaded Kaibar and we prayed al Ghada. Fajr. There, early in the morning, when it was still dark. Then the Prophet rode and Abu Talha rode, and I was riding behind Abu Talha. The Prophet of Allah passed through the lane of Kaibar quickly, and my knee was touching the thigh of the Messenger of Allah, and I could see the whiteness of the thigh of the Prophet. When he entered the town he said, Allahu Akbar, Kaibar is destroyed. Whenever we approach a hostile, nation to fight, evil will be the morning for those who have been warned. He said this three times. The people came out for their work. One of the narrators, Abdul Aziz said, they said, Muhammad peace be upon him, has come. Abdul Aziz said, some of our companions said, with his army. We conquered Kaibar and gathered the captives. Daihaya came and said, O Prophet of Allah, give me a slave girl from among the captives. He said, go and take a slave girl. He took Safiya bint Haye. Sunan and Nasi 3380 Reference 26 Hadith 185 Sunan and Nasi. The Book of Marriage Then a man came to the Prophet and said, O Messenger of Allah, you gave Daihaya Safiya bint Haye and she is the chief mistress of Kariza and in Nadir, and she is fit for no one but you. He said, Call him to bring her. When the Prophet saw her, he said, Take any other slave girl from among the captives. He said, The Prophet of Allah set her free and married her. One of the narrators, Thabit said to him, O Abu Hamza, what dowry did he give her? He, Anas, said, Herself, he set her free and married her. He said, While on the road, Umm Sulaim fitted her out and presented her to him in the night, and the following morning he was a bridegroom. He said, Whoever has anything, let him bring it. He spread out a leather cloth and men came with cottage cheese, dates, and ghee, and they made highs, and that was the Walima, wedding feast.
of the Messenger of Allah. Sunan and Nasi 3380 Reference 26 Hadith 185 Sunan and Nasi the Book of Marriage it was narrated from Humayd that he heard Anas say. The Messenger of Allah stayed with Safiya bint Hayyay bin Aktab on the way. Back from Kaibar for three days when he married her. Then she was among those who were commanded to observe hijab. Sunan and Nasi 3381 Reference 26 Hadith 186 Sunan and Nasi the Book of Marriage it was narrated that Anas said, The Prophet stayed between Kaibar and al Madinah for three days when he consummated his marriage to Safiya bint Haye, and I invited the Muslims to his walima, in which there was no bread or meat. He commanded that a leather cloth, be spread, and dates, cottage cheese and ghee were placed on it, and that was his walima. The Muslims said, Will she be, one of the mothers of the believers? or a female slave whom his right hand possesses. They said, If he has a hijab for her, then she will be one of the mothers of the believers and if she does not have a hijab then she will be a female slave whom his right hand possesses. When he rode on, he set aside a plate for her behind him and extended a hijab between her and the people. Sunan and Nasi 3382 Reference 26 Hadith 187 Sunan in Nasai. The Book of Marriage it was narrated that Amir bin Sa'd said, I entered upon Karaza bin Kab and Abu Masood al-Ansari during a wedding and there were some young girls singing. I said, You are two of the companions of the Messenger of Allah who were present at Badr, and this is being done in your presence. They said, Sit down if you want and listen with us, or if you want you can go away. We were granted a concession allowing entertainment at weddings. Sunan and Nasi 3383 Reference 26 Hadith 188 Sunan and Nasi. The Book of Marriage it was narrated that Ali, may Allah be pleased with him, said, The Messenger of Allah fitted out Fatima with a velvet dress, a waterskin and a pillow stuffed with Idkar. Sunan and Nasi 3384 Reference 26 Hadith 189 Sunan and Nasi. The Book of Marriage it was narrated from Habir bin Abdullah that the Messenger of Allah said, A bed for a man, a bed for his wife, a third for his guest and the fourth is for the shaitan. Sunan and Nasi 3385 Reference 26 Hadith 190 Sunan and Nasi. The Book of Marriage it was narrated that Habir said. The Messenger of Allah said to me. Have you got married? I said. Yes. He said. Have you got any Anmat? I said. How can we afford Anmat? He said. You will be able to. Sunan and Nasi 3386 Reference 26 Hadith 191 Sunan and Nasi. The Book of Marriage it was narrated from Al-Jad bin Abi Uthman, that Anas bin Malik said, The Messenger of Allah got married and consummated the marriage with his wife. He said, My mother Umm Sulaim made some highs, and I brought it to the Messenger of Allah and said, My mother sends you greetings of Salaam, and says to you, This is a little from us. He said, Put it down. Then he said, Go and call so and so, and so and so, and whoever you meet, and he named some men. So I called those whom he named and those whom I met. I said to Annas, How many were they? He said, About three hundred. Then the Messenger of Allah said, Let them sit around the dish of food in groups of ten, one after the other, and let each person eat from what is closest to him. They ate until they were full. Then one group went out and another group came in. He said to me, O oh Annas, clear it away. So I cleared it away, and I do not know whether there was more when I cleared it away, or when I put it down. Sunan and Nasi 3387 Reference 26 Hadith 192 
Sunan in Nasai. The Book of Marriage it was narrated from Hugh made at Tawil that he heard Anna's say. The Messenger of Allah established the bond of brotherhood between some of the Quraysh and some of the Ansar, and he established the bond of brotherhood between Sa'd bin Ar Rabi and Abdur Rahman bin Awf. Sa'd said to him, I have wealth, which I will share equally between you and me. And I have two wives, so look and see which one you like better, and I will divorce her, and when her idda is over you can marry her. He said, May Allah bless your family and your wealth for you. Show me that is, where the market is. And he did not come back until he brought some ghee, and cottage cheese that he had left over. He said, The messenger of Allah saw traces of yellow perfume on me and he said, What is this for? I said, I have married a woman from among the Ansar. He said, Give a Wilima, wedding feast, even if it is with one sheep. Sunan and Nasi 3388 Reference 26 Hadith 193